Hello, this is the Radio Geek, and today I thought I'd show you a little something I discovered today. Um, we have a um, uh, an LCD monitor. It was uh, at LG. We used with a computer. Um, it's fairly old. It was probably mm, seven or eight years old and been working fine. Nice, nice picture on it. Um, worked good for the computer. And all of a sudden, it just stopped working. It was totally dead. The power button didn't do anything. Um, it didn't make any any light on the screen. Nothing. It was totally dead. So I thought I would take it apart and uh, see what it, what was going on inside. I suspected something was wrong with the power supply. And uh, I uh, I discovered there were some uh, bad uh, capacitors in the power supply, electrolytic capacitors. And uh, so I thought I would take a, a few uh, measurements of these capacitors and check their values and their ESR, their equivalent series resistance. Um, I have this chart here, and this is a chart with the, the approximate uh, worst or highest ESR readings for new capacitors. Um, now I suspect some of these capacitors that I'm going to look at are still good, but it went ahead and changed them all anyway. There was only um, like six of them. Um, so I just figured I'd change them all at once while it was in there. And this one here, as you can see, the brand name is uh, Sam X O N. Sam X On. I've never heard of that capacitor company. Um, but they did last seven or eight years, I guess. Um, this one is a 1000 uh, microfarad. 25 volt. So if we look at our uh, worst case chart, 1,000 and 25 volts, the very worst that you should see is 0.1 ohms. It should be much lower than that. And I suspect that, that this particular one is probably still okay, but I figured I'd change them all at once. So I have this um, uh, capacitance ESR, actually it's an LCR meter, and it'll show me what the capacitance is as, as well as the ESR. So we'll hook it up here and see what it says. Not much of a lead left on these guys because they were going you know right through the PC board and cut right off so um, if I could get it to hook on there okay alright so it's supposed to be a thousand and it's 842 microfarads that's that's not horrible I guess that would still probably work and then you can see the resistance uh, or the ESR is relatively low too. It's 0 0.04 ohms, so it's well below the 0.1 in the worst case. So that cap was probably still okay. Now we'll grab one of these other ones that I have here. And this one, um, same brand, is a um, 470 microfarad at 25 volts. Okay, that is 165 microfarads and it's 0.56 ohms and the worst case is supposed to be 0.1 so so that's definitely bad and the other clue that you've got a bad capacitor or one that has uh, probably a high ESR is I don't know if you can see this this is the top of, of, a, of a capacitor that's fairly flat and I don't know if you can see this one or not. I don't know what angle I would have to have it at, but it is domed. It's like a dome shape there. It's it's kind of like a, a jiffy pop popcorn just before it pops. It's just like a, a round dome to it on this one here. So this one is definitely um, shot for sure. As you can see when I put it on the, um, the LCR meter, how out of whack it was. Um, here's another one that's not quite as domed but it still has a dome to it. We'll put this one on here and see what this one is. Yeah it's 0.58 and it's um, 209 microfarads is what it measures and it is supposed to be 
um, a 1000 microfarad at 16 volts, so way, way off. Um, we got a new capacitor here. These are um, Panasonic brand, low ESR capacitors, um, high ripple current, 1000 microfarad, 16 volts. We'll see what this new one comes out as. Okay, now look at that ESR. It's 0 0.03 ohms, and it can be as bad as 0.1, and it's 0 0.03, and it's supposed to be a thousand, and it's coming in at um, 913 microfarads. So that's what a good capacitor looks like. And as you can see, this is what a new capacitor looks like. There's no doming to this at all. Um, if you're going to replace a uh, capacitors and a switching power supply it's it's best to get ones that are low ESR uh, high temp these are um, 105 C rated caps and uh, uh, high ripple current so basically if you just go to like digikey or Mauser and you search for low ESR capacitor um, then you'll be in the right category and then you can pick your values that you need to replace now, I, when I order these from Mauser, you have a minimum of $10 order, so I did order more than I needed. Um, like this capacitor here, I think if you just bought one, it was like $0.92, cents. but if you bought 10, they were like $0.32, cents. so I just bought like 10 of these and 10 of those, and until I was over the $10 mark, the like about $12 in capacitors and then some shipping on there, um, but you know, you got to have the $10 minimum anyway so all in all to fix my monitor it probably cost about four dollars I know you can go and buy a brand new LCD monitor they're cheap now they're, you know 90 hundred bucks but I figured well I'll just give it a try and take it apart and see if I can get it going again and, and sure enough it was bad capacitors replaced them and it's working fine so it'll probably last another <laughs> maybe eight or ten years I don't know but uh, yeah, it's a really nice monitor, so I felt it was worthwhile to try. Figured, you know, even if it didn't work and I had to throw it out and get a new one, um, I was only out 10 or 12 bucks anyway. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you the uh, LCR meter and what a bad capacitor physically looks like. Um, sometimes um, they don't look bad, um, but if you check them with one of these guys, you can find out as well. So until next time, this is the Radio Geek.